Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll demonstrate managing files and templates from Ansible playbooks. This video is part of a series. It will make a lot more sense if you watch the playlist in order. Sometimes we need to copy files from the control host to the remote servers. We do this using the copy module. We make sure we're in our working directory. We make a directory called files. This is where Ansible will look for files by default. If we're working with roles, we would create this directory under the role directory. In this directory, we have a file called defaultpage.html, which we want to copy to our application servers. In a previous video, we used Ansible to configure Nginx servers. We'll make a small change to one of those scripts. This playbook targets hosts in the app servers group. It has tasks that install and start Nginx, and tasks to configure the local firewall. We include a new task using the copy module. It copies the default page HTML file from the default location on the control host to the index.html file on the application servers. We set the correct ownership and permissions. We run the playbook. The tasks to install and start Nginx have already been processed. So have the tasks to configure the firewall. The new task copies the file from the control host to the application servers. Templates are files we can customize using the Jinja2 templating language. This allows us to create a host specific copy of a common file. This is useful for customizing configuration files. We create a directory called templates under the working directory, or under the role if the template is part of a role. In this directory, we have a file with a J2 extension. To keep things simple, the file contains a single line, which includes a reference to a variable. We check the host variable file for the targeted host, to make sure the SSH variable is included. This playbook targets hosts in the databases group. The first task uses the template module. It looks similar to the copy module. We have our source file in the templates directory, the destination location on the database server. We set the ownership and permissions of the file. We're amending the SSH config on the server, so we need to restart the SSHD service. We notify a restart handler. In the handlers section, we have a handler that restarts the SSHD service. We run the playbook. The template is copied to the database server. Remember, the template is processed during this operation, so the variable value is substituted into the destination file. Finally, the restart handler is triggered. On the database server, we check the contents of the config file. We can see the variable value has been substituted into the file so we can copy files to our remote servers or use templates to make host specific adjustments to files. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.